Hello everybody, Mark aka The Nerdy Punk back again today for a new video. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different. As you can see, I'm not myself on camera. We're doing this uh, with a diff different point of view here. But um, I'm going to be giving you guys a short little tour over my small little movie room. And uh, also my listening room. It's got my record player over there as well. We'll go over that stuff in just a little bit. But I've been wanting to do a video like this since I moved in January. And uh, so I've been living in this new place for almost exactly six months. And uh, if you don't know me, I'm a bit of a procrastinator. <laughs> so my uh, setup has been really uh, clutter filled and uh, everything has just been all over the place and gross looking. So I wasn't about to make a video <laughs> until everything was kind of put into its own place. So I've got some new bookcases set up, I've got a new TV stand there that I'm going to show you. Um, so everything looks at least neat. It's not perfectly organized the way I would like it, like my Blu-rays and DVDs are not as organized as I would like them to be, but um, everything at least looks presentable <laughs> from the outside. So uh, another thing about this video my setup is going to change quite a bit in the next six months. Um, I'm going to be upgrading my TV and Blu-ray player. So, and I may add a couple more bookcases, or at least one more bookcase. But for now, this is what I have. So I'm going to show you guys this now, and then probably around New Year's next year, around January 2021, I will upgrade or update this with all of my upgrades uh, shown off in that video. So let's just get started here. This is a general pan over the room. All right, and I'm gonna show you individually everything here. So I obviously got my clock, my lamp, and my Star Wars calendar there. And then we move down to the first bookcase filled with DVDs and Blu-rays. So up top, got a Family Guy box set. I've got uh, White Stripes uh, live DVD that I just got in the mail a couple days ago. And then we go into my 4Ks. That is most of my 4K collection here. Um, there are a few of them that are scattered throughout other parts of the collection, but this is most of the stuff that I have separated out here. There's Joker, my favorite movie from last year. Um, I separated most of these out <clears throat> from the Blu-rays because I just, I don't know, I just thought I would like it that way. Obviously, very small collection. When you add up everything, not just what's right here, but everything throughout the rest of the collection, I have about 10, 15, 4Ks. Uh, and, you know, I don't really need a whole lot right now because I'm not getting a 4K TV yet, but I will be soon. And then that moves into my Blu-ray collection for TV shows. So these are, I believe, all of the Blu-rays that I have of TV shows. And then a selection of TV shows on DVD. So I got all my Family Guy stuff there. And then uh, Two and a Half Men. And then down here, <laughs> funny story with this, uh, this bookcase. This is a very common bookcase that a lot of collectors buy. This is by Atlantic. And um, I, uh, I put together most of this stuff myself. Well, half of them I put together myself. And um, throughout my life, I've never been good at putting stuff together and fixing things. And when I put this together, I misread the instructions. And so there were these little wood pieces that you were supposed to put into the ends of these to connect the two pieces together. But I thought you were supposed to put the little metal pieces to connect the two together. <laughs> so I put the metal pieces in these holes here when they were in fact supposed to go in these holes here. So I didn't have enough metal pieces to fill in all of the shelves. <laughs> so I've still got to go to the store and get some metal pieces to put in another shelf down here which will give me more storage, but for now I just have one of these 
uh, Third Man Records cardboard sheets that you get with all of the Third Man Records packages. So it's just a kind of cool way to use that space without having it be completely empty. And then we move on to my TV and TV stand. There's a little bit of extra storage in these cabinets. And so I have some more uh, DVDs and Blu-rays in there. I got my Law & Order stuff and my A24 collection on Blu-ray. Uh, this one over here is empty. Down here I have my PS3. I still use the PS3 mainly for the NCAA football and basketball games. I do play quite a bit of video games, mostly sports stuff. But uh, yeah, that's why I still have the PS3. And then my PS4 up here. I got that for Christmas, November, December of 2013, which was the year that it came out. So this thing is almost seven years old now, which is crazy. Uh, just a little magazine in there that I got with the Third Man Records package that I just uploaded the video for. And my TV, which is a 39-inch Element TV, which is one of those cheap Walmart TVs. It's pretty good for a cheap TV, but like I said, I'm going to be upgrading because I'm going to be buying the PS5 to replace my PS4 in November this year. So I'm going to be upgrading to a 4K TV. Um, if anybody has any recommendations for a affordable 4K TV, I'm not a wealthy guy, so uh, my budget's around 500 bucks. Uh, I've been looking at the Samsung um, TU800, I believe, or 8000, and uh, I think that's what I'm leaning towards at the moment, but again, if you have a great recommendation of a TV, a 4K TV, under 500 bucks, leave it in the comments. But yeah, that's what I'm rocking with now. We've got a Harley Quinn, Birds of, Cray, Birds of Prey poster. Harley Quinn is one of my favorite comic book characters of all time, and I love Margot Robbie as well, so had to have a Margot Robbie poster. We've got the Bond 50 Blu-ray box set that I just ordered over the quarantine. And then I have all of my horror Blu-rays on this bookcase, and you can tell it's very, very full. This bookcase I did not put together. I got this one from my parents. And it's quite an old bookcase. As you can maybe tell, the back side is kind of falling apart. But it does the job. It stores a lot of Blu-rays. Down here I just have some vinyl box sets, um, some uh, books, and a little bit of stack of, tiny stack of DVDs and Blu-rays, and then a um, set of outer record sleeves. Over here is the record player. This is the Audio-Technica ATLP60. This is kind of the cheaper model, but I got my cool Rack and Tour slip mat there. This does the job as well. And these speakers, audiophiles would probably hate me right now, but these speakers are just generic computer speakers. But again, they get the job done for a cheap price. So that's what I'm rolling with. Down here is the bulk of my Blu-ray collection. So my Once Upon a Time in Hollywood box sets, my Stranger Things, comic book Blu-rays. And then all of these, as you can tell, are double layered. So there are Blu-rays behind the outer Blu-rays. So yeah, and like I said earlier, there are some more 4Ks mixed in here, but I didn't take the time to get them out, plus I have limited storage over here. Alright, I have a small stack of records that um, don't have a crate for them. Um, I'm probably going to stick with crates for my record storage currently because I just don't have room for a whole lot of extra bookcases considering I have all of these bookcases for my Blu-ray collection. So probably going to stick with crate storage and I have two full crates of vinyl records over here. And this is all of my record collection not counting the box sets over there. And then I have a small little box of CDs 
my CD collection over there. Um, I forgot to show you the walls, so I got a giant Cubs flag. I'm a big time Cubs fan. So I got a giant Cubs fan behind my uh, chair here, which has got a nice Bears blanket on it. Real nice and soft, especially for the winter months. I live in Illinois, so it does get pretty cold around here. And then over here, got of course my Bernie yard sign that I put up on the on the wall. And I've got my signed uh, Laura Jane Grace and the Devouring Mothers set list along with the pick, guitar pick from Laura Jane Grace. And I've got a signed uh, little postcard artwork thing from the Fratellis, which is another great alternative band that I really like. And I think that's it. That is the entire movie room. Of course, I got my kitchen over there. This whole, this whole uh, room area is an open floor space. So that's it. That's my, uh, my movie room. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys have an amazing day. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.